Another person in Wake County has gotten sick from a fecal parasite being spread through an herb or a vegetable. 135 cases have now been confirmed in the past few months, the latest just this week, and we broke this story on Wednesday. WREL's health reporter Grace Haba has been investigating this outbreak and why no one was really told about it, Grace. And Deborah, Gerald, this parasite really is as unpleasant as it sounds. It's making a lot of people sick with diarrhea, nausea, even body aches, sometimes those symptoms lasting for weeks. Now today, I spoke with the Wake County Health Department and asked a lot of the same questions a lot of you have been reaching out to us asking, including why won't you name the restaurants involved? Is this outbreak over? And why didn't the health department tell the public? Out of the 135 cases reported so far in Wake County, the health department says only 22 are tied to three local restaurants, though which those are remains unanswered. Why won't you name them? Well, the reason we're not naming them is because when a um, patient names them to us, we go out and do a restaurant inspection. The health department says those inspections have already happened and didn't turn up any wrongdoings by the restaurants. With no identified source and over 100 cases not tied to a restaurant, we asked about a possible link to other businesses like grocery stores or the local farmer's market. Is it possible that this produce or affected uh, product is elsewhere other than a restaurant? Yes, I mean, I think that's the um, definitely possible. So um, most of the time produce or herbs that are um, infected with cyclospora, it has to do with their growing and their transport to um, you know, food distributors or markets. DHHS previously told WRAL the outbreak appeared to be over, but Friday, Wake County's health department said that isn't entirely accurate, as another case was just reported this week. The county added they haven't had any new cases within the past few weeks, also linked to the restaurants in question. At what point do you notify the public that this is going on? I think that, you know, we were looking at cases and if we had any connection or, you know, uh, an announcement would be made. But at that at this point, we still do not have a likely source. And so it's really just general precaution. And the state health department today confirmed additional cases have also been reported outside of Wake County as well as in other states. Now we're still working to learn exactly what other counties here in North Carolina and what other states are being affected.